Today was a tense and emotional day for both Barry Washington Jr.'s and Ian Cranston's family. Washington's mother, Lawanda Roberson, says it's a day of justice. I was very, very nervous. I couldn't compose myself. I was shaking. The verdict for the Ian Cranston trials arrived six and a half hours after jury deliberations. After a little more than a two-week trial, with attorneys trying to convince the jury whether or not Ian Cranston acted in self-defense, members of the gallery sat visibly uncomfortable as they waited. One of the members of Washington's family began praying, his mother already tear-struck before the judge walked into the room. Ian Cranston's family sat in silence, waiting to hear his fate. Before the verdict was read, Judge Bagley reminded those in the court to remain seated until after the verdict was read and not to be disruptive. We, the jury, being duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled court and cause, do find the defendant as to count one murder in the second degree not guilty. As to count two manslaughter in the first degree guilty. As to the additional question, Washington's mother cried as the verdict was being read, calling it justice for her son. I'm just so happy that I know that the jurors were, this was a hard case, and I'm just happy to have some sort of justice. Did, did the verdict surprise you at all? Yes, I'm not going to lie, it did surprise me, because I just didn't have any trust in the justice system in Oregon, I want to be honest. But I do believe in God, and I, I did trust him. After the court was dismissed, we had a moment to hear from the defense, who says they plan to appeal. We will be assessing our options, obviously. I mean, there were uh, uh, a number of legal rulings in the case that, that we were we are going to be addressing through the appellate process, but uh, that time is to come. Um, so we will be, uh, I'll take any further comments at this time. So you do plan to appeal? Thank you. Oh, yes. Outside of the courthouse, a group of people chanted Washington's name as Cranston's family walked out of the courthouse. I just want to continue to, you know, start a little bit to get back my life back together. Cranston's family, of course, was heartbroken by the news as they quietly left the courtroom. They did not want to comment. Bola Baribo, News Channel 21.